Hi, welcome to Unwraps. My name is Randy Miller, and today I'm going to be showing you how to wrap a refrigerator. And we actually printed it out on our new HP Latex 700W series printer. And it's printed out on uh, 3M, every release channel, matte sheen vinyl, and the quality just turned out great. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Hopefully you learn something, and uh, stay tuned. So before you start anything, installing a wrap or anything, take any emblems off. And I usually use a heat gun or a hot blow dryer and it pops it right off. And use it run, rubbing hot alcohol and water. And uh, get nice and clean, get the oils off, get around the edges and just do a wonderful job. Okay, just to let you know, I did a great job on this video and everything. Um, when I got back to the office, I forgot to charge this little guy. So it went in about five minutes in the video and then I got nothing. So just a reminder, I just sworn I check I check all the batteries before I even go somewhere. But uh, on this video, I'm gonna do the old fashioned uh, Chinese movies that I'll be talking, but I'll be talking over the talking. And, uh, but I'm gonna try to fix or make this video work. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Hopefully you learned something and uh, have a good laugh after this and kind of go from there. <laughs> All right, continue on. All right, so on this part right here I'm talking to you about is uh, when you're wrapping, uh, you're going to wrap around these edges right here, but also the, the handles, you can't really wrap the handles, so I don't recommend using the vinyl on top of the handles. So on the this door right here has like a curve to it. So what, uh, and all the doors that have curves to it, uh, what I like to do is uh, cut the backing, what I call tacking it on, uh, up and down, as you can see right here. Every print I do, I try to put markers on the, the prints, and that actually indicates the corners of the doors. And that's the freezer part, and what I'm gonna be showing you now is the fridge part. And I'm just going to show you more examples. That's the corner, and that over there, that's just that corner too. It just helps uh, when you're installing it to line it perfectly. Okay, let's start on the, the freezer door. So what I normally do is on the tacking on strip, what you see right there, I pinch it in about, about 8 inches or 10 inches down. And now I put my uh, finger, I can kind of put my finger or thumb over it to feel where the edges are at. And then when I'm happy where it needs to be, and then I, I put the tacking on strip right there. So I'm just tacking it on. And it's just a little area that's tacked on. Now I'm double checking, make sure where it needs to be. Okay, so I'm just double checking everything, making sure the the image is where it needs to be, not going around the curve or edges or anything like that. Now I'm just holding it on one side where the tacking part is, so it's, it stays in place basically. Now I'm grabbing the back of the one inch strip and I'm kind of moving it where it needs to be and then I'm tacking it down with my hand. And that's the beauty of the little piece right there. If you mess up, you can just pull it off that little area like where you see right there moving it just a little bit and then tacking it back down and you're not doing the whole vinyl you're just doing a little piece of area that's the reason why I put these on all almost on all the uh, vinyls that I ship out now this is a squeegee build uh, designed and built in-house and if you follow these arrows you'll have a lot less chance of getting air bubbles in there let me show you exactly what I'm talking about So normally what I do go left to right or whatever if you want to go right to left it doesn't matter I bring the uh, the backing probably about 10 inches over and then next thing you're seeing right now is I'm going to be following the arrows and I'm going to hit I'm going to do the left side first and I'm going up and down and I'm not pushing very hard on it either I'm just pushing enough just to put it on there you don't need to push real hard 
And if you see, I'm kind of following the arrows. Next is the right side. And you don't have to pull the vinyl or the backing all the way off. I usually leave enough just to hold on to the hand. Uh, the less oils on your uh, on the vinyl from your hands, the better. It makes it stick much better. And if there's any air bubbles in there, you can just pop them or move them with your finger. That's exactly what I did right there. And those little dots will not be on the, once I wrap everything, will not be on the fridge. It just gets it close to the edge of the, the unit. Here's the part when you just wrap around the edges. I just use my finger or thumb or something like that. You know, let me get that straightened out real quick. And you can just squeeze it too, but it's such a small area, you can just use your thumb. And I like to always double check, make sure there's no air bubbles in right before I, I do any cutting. And um, I can actually pull it off and put it right back on if there's a huge air bubble or something behind the vinyl, uh, like dirt or whatever it is. It's best to do, fix it now and before you cut. Now what I'm doing is if you take your knife and put it on the, the body of uh, the fridge right where you're seeing right there and cut right there, that's actually a perfect length uh, to sneak that vinyl behind the, the seal. So you see right here, it has a little extra vinyl right there. So I'm just cutting the excess off. That's all I'm doing. So the next thing you see right here is I'm using the heat gun and it sinks into the, the rim itself. And then once the vinyl is cooled off in a couple of minutes and I use my knife, I go very slowly and carefully cutting where that rim is at to have a nice clean cut. So the next thing I do is I lift up the seal and I tuck the vinyl in. Now it's time to do the fridge door wrap. And as you can see, um, it has a little bow, so I'm gonna be cutting up and down the backing and now I'm doing on the tacking on strip. I'm going to go about 10 inches down. And then I'm going to place, I'm going to look for that those little, little dots that indicate the corners of the doors. I'm going to try to follow where that the edge of the doors are at. And then when I'm happy, I will tack it on. That little area. So that's kind of the first tacking it on that we do. Because it's only like maybe a two inch tacking on, and it's good to move it around. Uh, why it's only this two inches instead of the the full top part of the the wrap. So right now what I'm doing is I, I removed the backing of the one attacking on strip. So this is, I guess, tacking on two. So you're kind of babying the tacking it on uh, just to get exactly where you need to be before you start installing it. And right there I was off just a quarter inch. And so what I'm going to do, this is a prime example of fixing it as we, uh, we go. I'm going to pull the, the bottom off, move it over where I think it's going to be, and then pull the top off, re have it relaxed, and then move it going up. And I, I nailed it on the last time. That's, that's a good part right there. So what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting the bottom part because if I didn't, I'll be fighting it when I'm installing it. Also, I'm going to be cutting the top part of it. I'm going to doing like a, a going upwards right there. Uh, so when I'm molding or wrapping around the corners, I'm make, making sure I'm not cutting, uh, losing the graphics uh, when I'm going around the corners. 
And there we go. So now it's going to be a lot easier installing. I'm not, there's no optical courses in the way. So I'll make sure everything looks good before I do anything. Great. Now we go left to right. Same thing as the, the freezer wrap. I usually pull it down, pull it back about 10 inches, just enough for it to tack on uh, the areas. And also you can see the vinyl is uh, stretched, taunt on the left, and it's up uh, away from the door. So it's not sticking on the door. And I'm slowly uh, pulling it backwards. Okay, there. All right, so what you see right here is I'm just using my fingers to go around the edges. That I just like doing that because I can actually feel if there's any creases or bubbles with my fingers. Next, we'll start doing the right side. I do it about 10 inches or so, just enough, and I just grab it with the paper and the vinyl together and make a taunt on the right-hand side and make sure the vinyl is up uh, and going at an angle so it's not touching the surface. Right, so what you see right here is I'm still using the heat gun, just getting the little crevices and everything. It softens the vinyl up and it makes the vinyl just sink in, basically. Once the vinyl cools off a little bit, it only takes a moment, and just use your knife, take your time, and uh, cut slowly and patiently, and then you are golden on that one. All right, so let's tackle the sides now. So what you see right here, I'm, I'm grabbing the tacking on strip, about 10 inches down, and that's the vinyl where it's, the glue is at. And now I'm actually having the vinyl just basically rest on the ground, I'm touching the ground. I'm checking where it's at. I usually, when I print the sides, I usually have two, two inches on the, on the side, on each side and about an inch bleed on top, an inch bleed on bottom. So that's plenty of area to go in. On this one, I didn't put any markers on because um, I was going to install it myself and I just want to make sure the, the picture aligns it to the refrigerator perfectly. So you can see I just tacked it on up there. I'm double checking everything. I always like to double check, triple check everything before I, I start installing the whole thing. Next, I like to do the top part, what I call tacking on two. And everything's like, again, uh, baby stepping it on there. You just want to want to slap it on there and call it good. So anytime I do the sides, I like to open the door. It's just a lot easier if you're not uh, fighting the vinyl sticking on the door. It's just easier to install. So I like to drop my knife about 100 times before the job is over. And uh, here, what I do is I grab the backing of the, the paper and bring it about, you know, a foot down and let it rest. So the, the paper is actually pushing the vinyl out of the, the wall and do it that way. So it's it's good to have the vinyl sticking out and then you just kind of let the vinyl rest and let the squeegee do the work.
All right, let's go on the other side. So this side right here, you can see I removed the tacking on strip. So you can see all that right there. Next, I'm just going to let the vial just rest on the floor so it's nice and even. So I want to make sure it um, you can see everything. On this one, what I did is I moved, uh, moved it, move it over because I didn't want that sailboat to be cut off. So I just moved that over. I still got plenty of room on the side or the front to wrap. I have at least one inch bleed and I put probably about two inches bleed on there uh, so I can put it on there and also cut it. Now I tack it on, double check everything. I got about an inch bleed uh, going in the sailboat and it, now I know exactly where it's going to be at. All right, so this is not the tricky part, but kind of tricky part. So uh, we're gonna try to shove the vinyl between the door and the refrigerator. And so what I'm gonna do is slowly get in there and where the hinges are at, right, right where you're seeing right there, I'm gonna cut right where the hinge is at right there. So it has a little release. Now I'm just gonna kind of push it in there. So I moved inside and so I'm going to pull this vinyl taut left and make it tight and then push it down. And next just cut it down where the seam is at and you are set with that. All right, thank you for watching this video. If you learned anything, please let me know. Uh, put it in the comments down below. You can also email me at rmraps at gmail.com. Check out more stuff at the rmraps.com website. We're adding a lot more unique things, and we do a lot of custom designs and all kinds of things. But, uh, yeah, other than that, um, yeah, give me a hold of me, 208-696-1180. Email me at rmraps at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.